Hi, Stephanie. We didn't beat the game fast enough. <laughs> Hello, Keith. We didn't beat it fast enough. So now Deviation Perspective Wrong Soul Requiem version 1.25 is out. Thankfully, we've loaded the game already, so I think the game works. I was a little worried. Wait, what? With how janky this game has been, I was worried that a major patch would break our save, and then we'd have to start the game over, and then I'd be like, guess it's canceled. <laughs> Ooh. But it's oh. this, apparently. Uh, <laughs> they improved Rory's usefulness in battle. <laughs> Whatever that means. Well, There's an easy mode now, new combat system with simplified main attack minigame, new weakness system. So they added, like, weaknesses, I think. Like, like Pokemon? Yeah, like, elemental games. Like, most, well, I guess, like, most turn-based RPGs would have it instead of nothing. Which is because this game just has nothing. <laughs> They rebalanced the game, made Rory more useful. There's changes to the bosses to make them actually boss fights instead of just... Yeah. There's a reduced monologue story mode <laughs> where you can reduce how much monologuing Alex does. That's a good a patch. I think that's a good idea. Sensitive content warning. Sensitive content toggle. What Easy mode. Auto text advance, uh, which just means it would keep going on its own. Removed flashing. For when it does bad things to you and sort of fix some bugs, or did they? They also added a tease for the 1.5, which is like the real big update that's supposed to actually revamp the game. I guess there's story teases for it. When but was where, this game made those are. originally? Uh, like 2008. Apparently, it's early access. It's, it's not early access, but it seems like it's early access because they're still revamping it. I don't know. I don't think it's they a salvageable music. guys. What was the question you had about something on there? Uh. What do they mean by toggle? Uh, co sensitive content toggle? Yeah. I think it means it turns the sensitive content off. Oh, I see. Okay. Which, I don't know what that would mean besides maybe Rory's suicide? Less lemonade. Yeah, I don't know what that means either. That I want more lemonade in every everything, always. Drastically, we'll rework the scenario in the sewer in chapter two. <clears throat> it expands mm -hmm. the lore and improves the quality of the original scene. I don't know. I don't even remember the, what they're referring to. They try to include story-critical monologues, but cut down the other ones. <laughs> it's, it's really fucking funny sentence. I don't know. So you can play the the classic version or like the deviation perspective version as two separate like options or something when you make a game. It's largely... A, it probably won't even come up. I don't know. Why would... We'll see. I mean, it, okay, so you have the option to turn, like, extra monologue off, right? But if you hadn't played this game before... You don't know what you're changing. You don't yeah. know what you're changing. Who would, yeah, who would do a blind, their first playthrough and be like, I want the characters to talk less. Yeah, Why you think, you think you'd out? want, like, oh, well, it's okay, I can handle it. Cause Record I the game. Did you break it? Maybe. Fuck, I'll just go back to display capture. There you go. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, like no one would be like, I want the character. No one would like know to do the re reduced monologuing thing. Because, well, because it's, it's like, it's like, so well, I want normal all mode, the story mode. Oh, what? It... I think story mode might be the easy mode. Maybe. This game's already easy. Uh, well, it's not. It wouldn't be easy. Oops. It wouldn't be easy if it wasn't for LP toss being broken. Mm. Like, they, like every. I don't, I don't know if it wouldn't be easy, because it's still not challenging, because it's not- it doesn't require talent and skill to beat, it's just... All the numbers are really big and the fights take seven years. <laughs> like, you have to hit people like 30 times to kill them, and you probably have to just sit there and... Like, there's no tactics in this game, at least not until this update, which may or may- I can't review this update, who knows. Uh... Like, you would previously, like... You would just attack people over and over again with your attack. Like, that's all your characters really have. They have an attack and an attack that costs pee pee. <laughs> and then you just would use food when they needed it. And then you'd attack more. Like, there's not really much to this game combat wise. So I don't know what. Like, I don't I don't know how it would get harder or easier necessarily. I think it's funny that they specifically go. didn't fix LP toss though. Like, <laughs> everyone knows that's broken, but in all, the whole patch description, that was not mentioned once. Oh god, what if they fixed LP toss? Oh no! What if that's the consequences for us today? I, I hope not. I think I think they they didn't mention all it your stuff back. <laughs> they understand the value. That's just all of our stuff in it. I hate when games do that thing where they take away all your stuff. I can't remember. I, I feel like I know there's a game a, that does that. There's games that do it that are interesting. I think. 
Sometimes it makes me stressed out. Because you think it's not, you're not going to get it back or something? Yeah, like what if the game glitches? I think Fallout does yeah, that like sometimes, save it all where they take all your weapons and Fuck, put them in a chest. I forgot a, a that there's chest. two of us. Does that mean we have two LP tosses? Uh, well, the, the you know, the fa it'll make it end faster. I do not want that person in the party. Just fucking Andrew. <laughs> I forgot God, that we I, were. I forgot about a lot of this. <laughs> How fucking insane Stephanie. Got. Yay. Swishy. There it goes. The samurai's back. These these two have my favorite attack QTEs because they're not annoying. Because mm. for her, you just hold down and then press a button. And for him, you just hold down the button and try to hit the line. It's like, ah, oh, these aren't in intrusive and irritating. These are fucking annoying. <laughs> The hula hoop is super annoying. It's like 10 seconds long every time, even if you fuck up. Okay, so there's like fireballs, and there's a giant evil Alex head. Is it is 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 his beard is growing out towards yeah, us I menacingly? Yeah, I heard you don't like hair stuff, so enjoy this the, bayonetta beard. That looks more like tree branches or tree roots to yeah. me. It's okay. Yeah, I just it, look, it looks like the bed of chaos. I just don't like hair suits. So there's that Y. The Y is the auto advance toggle, so it'll just keep playing on its own every time it finishes the dialogue instead of waiting for us. Which normally I'd be happy to turn on, but here it's like, you never know when one of us is gonna wanna say something. There's too much to unpack. <laughs> Gotta keep it manual. What the hell are you consuming realities for? Why do you have to do this? It tastes delicious. Entertain me. There's no reasoning with this one. Sorry, Alex. Looks like we have no choice. Sorry, Alex Keith. Looks like we have no choice. Yeah, they keep putting me in the text, but not the voices. So if I'm only listening, I won't even notice that they're talking to me. Hello. Hello, TV Alex. Oh my fucking god, look at the portrait for Keith. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening there? What? You look very majestic. Tele Alex? It's TV Alex. Oh yeah. Oh, the enemy is Tele Alex. I thought the enemy attack was Tele Alex for a second there. See the weird, like, rocker hand? What? I don't think that was there before on attack. On the menu. Oh, oh, no, it wasn't. I've never seen that before. Anyway, let's find out. Oopsie. Helps if I actually hit something. Yeah, how will we know if it's broken if you can't actually it's, play it's it? It's really hard when there's only one. Clash. What? Looks like a butterfly, stings like a bee. What? 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 This is the vine drop. Anyone that falls off the vine will take damage. Okay. Get what ready. Do do? What do What? That side is X and that side is B. What does that mean? <laughs> do you just push X and B back and forth? <laughs> Uh, the enemy attack. Must have, okay. Okay. Oh, you're countering his little okay. arms. Look at my beautiful loot, everyone. Apparently, she's water element. I guess that's what they mean. They were, she's we're water all elemental. Pokemon now. She's water elemental and Alex is rock type. I guess. Oh my gosh, she's rock type, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Did y'all like that one? Did you take any damage? Oh, he's fire type. Oh my gosh, you killed the panda. You're Wait. wearing panda, Keith. Am I You're really? wearing panda. Oh my god, I am. You skinned oh him and he's dead. Why is he dressed? What the fuck is Alex dressed like? He killed panda. There's a lot to take in. Oh no. What? You fucked up! What? That was new! I've never seen that before! Well, it's because I don't have a keytar anymore, or whatever. I have a loot now. I... What are your attacks like? What? Ooh. Fuck. I'm not reacting fast enough, I guess. Like, the, are those the new QTEs? Those awkward looking... Ugh. Are these the new super unflashy, unflattering, and boring looking like replacements because everyone complained about the previous animations that I, Cause like the other ones were like really time consuming and annoying, but they were like stylized. 
Yeah. Like the, big, like the big spinning record that was in 3D for Alex. Yeah. And now it's just like, here's a little 2D image, press A at the right time. I think that's all they are now. Why would they do that? <laughs> that's all they are now! Oh my goodness! What a time for this patch to come out. This is so fucking surreal. Uh... That... Ah! Oh, oh, that was fast this Holy time! Holy fucking shit! That was so fast! Oh my god! Oh my goodness, you're sick now for some reason. How fucking come? What is this? <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be a nightmare that this patch came out in the middle of our playthrough. <laughs> we're like, right, we're like the right at the end. The game just changed. We're right at the end and they this happened yeah, to us. Yeah, and like the difficulty curve is built around, like it's so complicated because they're built around the idea that I played the whole game with it. Like, this one is rock plus. This one is water plus or minus. A plus or equal to. Greater yeah. than or equal to. Earth minus? I'm just trying to eat a hamburger. <laughs> I'm trying to use a cheeseburger. What do these numbers mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't... Does it mean the, cha the cheeseburger's worse? <laughs> What's happening? Oh, I shouldn't have used Vela to heal because she has water type. What is that? It shouldn't make a difference. Well, because the enemy's fire. So that's probably like a bonus. But, if but they are fire. if you're just using somebody to heal, like it shouldn't matter what type you are, you aren't battling. No, I mean, I shouldn't have used Vela oh, because I should have attacked with Vela. I see. What? Yeah. That's not a katana. You see how big it was? That was like a scimitar. Well, well remember they, uh... <laughs> look how look how fast the QTs are, QTs are now. I mean, are I'm so confused. Didn't the didn't the oh god. This is so bad. Holy shit, it's so fast, but the timing is weird. I think when you deflect him, it makes the timing weirder again. This well, is a lot. Because so, he, he pauses. Yeah, so it's really fucking hard to time. Didn't the uh, didn't the patch notes say that you can choose between the old and the new versions? I did it. I didn't. I didn't see that part. I think part. it said that. I guess I can check. Since we're still here and still in display capture. Uh, let's see. Um. No, a deviation to classic quick snare tool from another perspective. Maybe they didn't say. So maybe you can't play the old version. Um. I could be wrong about that. I thought that they said that you could play the old version or the new version in whichever one you prefer. And I, if that was the case, I was going to say, like, why would you change existing playthroughs into the new version? Uh, but maybe this is the only game that I don't. Now. Yeah, I don't think you have an option. An incredibly disruptive thing just happened to the middle of our playthrough. Where I have to, like, <laughs> learn a new game in the last level. <laughs> Every attack is different, and there's some types now. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Why, why aren't Why aren't you hitting? Isn't is, aren't you doing the right thing? Why are you? Or no, I'm I'm confused as to why did they change these? <laughs> I like the other ones better. <laughs> now every attack is seems every attack seems to now be the same QT. You just press A during, at the right time. Yeah, so during the other record spin, you had to continuously hit the yeah. bars on the record over and over again. What the f- And you could stack power based on how many times you did that. Now you just hit- you only have the option to get so it once. so hard. Yeah, you just timed your button press. All of the- all the attacks are the same thing. Huh. Like, this seems like way- way less gratifying. It's interesting that they literally got rid of the interface for the previous attacks and replaced them all with, like, a really dinky-looking thing in the middle of the screen that's basically the same for every character, but presented slightly differently. It definitely makes the attacks faster, I guess. I don't know. I don't... I'm kind of, Oh, fuck. This is impossible. It's impossible. He goes so fucking fast. Not only does it go fast, I think that if you press dodge on somebody, and it's not the exact time they attack, they just jump off and die. <laughs> so like, if I press B, and then like, oh god, I missed, I, I gotta quickly press X, but I press X the wrong time, the X person on the left jumps off, 
And that means not only have I defeated that person instantly, you've killed another person. But now, now that person, now the punchy man's just gonna skip the X person and go straight to the next B person. And now I have no time to react to the fact that the timing has changed. And he's not going to stop to punch the, the person on the left anymore. I think that's what's going on, and it's just it's fucking insane. It's so much to process. Maybe no matter what, you just need to push like XBXB XB really fast. Like at a maybe there's just a rate at which you could push it every time, <laughs> and you'll never be wrong. What? Oh, this is still in the game though. Yeah, this one that we only use like one other time. God damn it! This is such a complicated fucking move to learn on the fly. You can't read the rules before the, the timer starts. So if you don't know what to do, it's like, well, <laughs> too late. LP toss. So these are still all the same, which is confusing in its own way. Because now these are so far out in a different direction, but the normal attacks are like nothing. <laughs> I don't know what to make of this game. But you're not getting as much damage from LP toss. No, as you used to. they nerfed LP they toss. They did. So I'm also I have to just suffer through normal paced fights now. <laughs> like the worst thing they could have done to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh what my goodness! What a fucking goodness. plot twist for today. Well, at least you're like stacked on food forever. God, right. I hope so. You have like a fuck ton of food, don't you? Wow, that really thread the needle. See, it, it doesn't it doesn't glitch out and freeze them either when you hit them like it used to, where you can like. Uh, oh yeah, they don't freeze. Yeah, they don't you get stunned. You, yeah, you can't. Oh, shit. Uh, Weakness. So I guess he's weak to rock. I don't know what's going on. I'm never gonna get the fight. <laughs> it's so fucking hard. Jesus Christ! Kill me. Did he change elements? Didn't it say fire before? I, don't, oh, I think it's, it's reminding you that rock will do negative. It will do less to him. I'm what? Is he a rock element now? No, I, I get the impression that he's. It's telling you that rock will do less damage. But why is it? I don't know why it's saying that to you now. You're not using the rock character. I don't know. Seems. Uh, what? Wait, it glitched. Whoa! It glitched. It did. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> it skipped like the middle one. I I feel like this entire patch was ill-advised. Maybe uh, he saw that there was like one person on the internet playing it. He saw your playthrough. <laughs> he just wants to sabotage. <laughs> he just said to I think sabotage it was ill-advised to try to fix this game. Like I can see that they responding to feedback, but I don't think responding to feedback was the solution. I think the solution was to start over on a new game entirely yes, and try to yes. make, make it better next time. Well, because I think to me... I don't think this game was ever going to get saved. The, the the most like damning aspects of this game are all in the writing, and you yeah. can't fix that at this point. Like, that is done. The game, like, like the plot is there. You can't, unless you're going to start over completely, you can't fix now it. Now says Earth Plus. So there's no point. Just start a new game. <sighs> Maybe he, maybe, maybe he is supposed to be difficult because he changes all the time. Maybe. And it would mean more to us if we had fought people that were consistent. Uh -huh. That minigame's bad. Dude, that did 96. That minigame's bad. He hit you with 96 damage. Like, you're not going to live I, yeah, through I don't that ever. Else. That minigame's genuinely bad because when you press a button, if you get the timing wrong, it seems to instantly kill whoever's next. So, like, if I just take the punch, then that guy goes down. If I, if I, on top of taking the punch, try to hit a button to, you know, to play the minigame, it instantly kills the next person in the line because it reads as me getting the button put wrong for the next person because I was too late for the first person. So I press B once and you can see Alex on the right falls because he got punched and Vela just jumps off and dies. And I didn't even press X, I hit B, but it's like, yeah, you failed the QTE for the second part. Like, it's interpreting me being slightly late for the first QTE as me inputting an incorrect input for the next QTE. That's what it's doing, which is how nothing works in the history of games. Like, that's not how quicktime events work. It's so fucking baffling right now. Kill me. So yeah, now, now it's saying he's rock, I think. Or, you know, like, rock. Rock. Yeah, dude, you can't have mountains and the rock and roll sign. The rock and roll sign's a cute idea, but not if you're not going to have an actual rock type. That's confusing. Yeah, so last turn, Earth, it, was, last turn it was showing a mountain, but now it shows, now it shows rock this turn for everybody. That's such a funny so I think joke, it's saying haha. That that's his element. I hate this. Oh, look, this is back. But why? What? 
I thought this was the one that they got rid of. So one of each of the... Hey, it worked even though I missed. I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> this is your home now. Stop killing Alex every turn. I'm going to run out of smelling salts, and then what will I do? Just leave Alex to die. Yeah. This is all his fault anyway, as far as I can tell. Like, so... 72 critical damage. Holy shit. Okay. Nope. Oh, we got I one. To, I just have to let the first person die. He comes onto the screen so fast you can't react in time, but I can wait for him to get to Vela and block that one. That's at least something. God, he does just one-shot Alex. I spent so many of the last hours exclusively leveling my health and my PP because they were behind and I never got caught up. Well, he does have a lot of PP now. He has 74 PP. But I guess it's kind of pointless now because he can't... Because now, now LP toss sucks. Great. <laughs> uh, I'm totally gonna... Oh my god. The moment we get out of this fight, I'm putting story mode on. Fuck it. Because that's probably easy mode. And I can't. <laughs> this is not an upgrade. Get me out of it, please. I just want to see how the game ends, and I want it to end tonight. I do not want another session of this game. We very much planned this as being the final session, and I want that to happen. I want to move on with my life. Yeah. <laughs> But you know I will remember this forever. Oh god, yeah. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I can't react in time to save the first person. Wait. Was the first per person on the vine Alex again, even though he's still dead? Oh, maybe you found out a trick. Is that just what happened? Leave Alex to be dead. I think I just dead. didn't save Alex, and he was still the first person hit. Yeah, so just leave Alex dead, and then just keep doing this. We found a loophole, maybe. I just... I don't... What tactical choices am I supposed to be making right now? Like, they added elements, but... So? What what depth is that supposed to add to the game? Oh god. Like, that that is not what people were... Okay, so that was Vela this go. time. That was the smiley guy. The, um... Vela took no damage. That's odd. I don't know what's happening. So, like... The, I I, these were not the criticisms people had of, had of the game. Like, th this was not something I feel like... I, I, I don't know who asked for members? this. So you could swap somebody that has a better type. I guess that's about it, right? Well, or you could swap someone who's not oh, close to being dead. Like, it's like, oh, this person's about to die, swap them out. Because, like, there, people, people barely have, like, attacks of note. Like, different abilities that do things that are, like, utility or whatever. I don't... I don't... I don't, really I don't think know what can... they were trying to salvage with the combat. No. Besides making it just less annoying. I think they were trying to make it less annoying and but make it more so, streamlined. Still, this but is so boring and long, though. They just made it, yeah, they just made it boring looking and harder to read. Oh, uh, see? But still, like, Vela didn't get hurt. Also, Vela doesn't have a piano, so why is that her attack? Also, I don't think you can attach a loot to a... To she, speaker. She currently doesn't have a keytar, so... Oh yeah, she still has a Dillinger speaker, even though she has a, a loot now. Yeah, yeah. That's confusing. <sighs> Who's this? Who is this fucker? Who is this man? Bella's not taking damage. No one is really taking damage. Except for Alex. Yeah, it's just Alex. M maybe they, they just- Stephanie is impervious. Yeah, pff, I am impervious to this bullshit. Why does Alex get one shot and everybody else is fucking invulnerable? M maybe they thought that you'd care a lot about Alex, so you would- It's okay if you don't notice that no one else gets hurt because you're just gonna be so worried and doting about Alex's health. Are they doing a stretch frame? On the katana? To make a- I thought he had a scimitar, but I think that's just him swing. Yeah, he's swinging it, and it look and it's so thick on that frame that it looks looks like a scimitar. I can see that. It's, for, it's almost cartoony. Yeah, I mean, it's clearly a you got it there. perfect. I got it perfect. Yeah, that should be worth something. Not even. Not a enough. You, wait, you you were waking up. Oh wait, no, you you were waking up. Alex was waking up. 
I feel like the time for you to press to react to the QTE and time to like press it right when it's on the the the, the sweet spot is so narrow. And weirdly in that, like weirdly it's like it's like the, the the image pops up and almost instantly it's time for you to press A. But weirdly it'll let, it'll let it keep going for twice as far past the sweet spot if you miss it and it'll just kind of keep going for a while. And it's like why isn't the sweet spot just a little later in the animation so you can see it pop up in time? It's like you you don't really have time to react, so you just memorize the timing of how it works as opposed to looking at it necessarily. I don't know. Maybe you'd be more used to it if you've been playing it the whole game. I'm gonna immediately turn on baby mode. There you go. That's probably what story mode means. So what if it what if it isn't? What if now you, now they talk more? We'll find out hard. I I don't think they added dialogue. <laughs> I don't know. Except for whatever the story hooks were, but that sounds like it was in the sewer. I can see, I can see this, this, I can see this writer being like, I have, a, you know, actually, I have more things to say now, yeah. and just like inputting <laughs> other secret messages. He just has, he just starts going on, a, gone, going on a rant in the middle of the game about people on Twitter not liking the game. Look, it's a, uh, it, it's, it's, it's. It's, too, it's the sloth. Yeah. What so was the, the guy, wait, the other one was sloth. Kind of. Yeah, they might all be sloth. This, this, <laughs> this might be gluttony. Maybe, oh yeah, but <laughs> but all of them are about him being lazy. He can't reach that switch to save the world because it's too far, and he's just so lazy. And all the things are like, save the world, it's too far. Uh, maybe tomorrow. No, Bully Boo Boo avec moi. It's the horn version of the song. Oh my goodness. Because <laughs> he's fat. Horns mean fat people. That's the joke. I think Get the joke? Isn't it usually like a deeper, like a tuba? Yeah, like a tuba. Like you go to the brass section to represent a fat person. He's fat. Get it? I don't know. I don't know how that can't even reach the switch. How that became Perfect. an established tradition amongst. It sounds like farting. It really? You think that's why? Yes, <laughs> I do think that's why. Perfect. I'm just gonna auto attack. Like, it's... what else is there to do? I mean, perfect. That oh, wasn't perfect. Oh, I can see how much I missed. But his defense is up, so he's like the Snorlax. Snorlax. Where he's not gonna be able to hit you very hard, but his defense is gonna be really high. So it might be a really annoying battle. You met me, bro. <laughs> He's trying. Oh, did you see you? He has Snorlax. He no. fell asleep. This is gonna suck. He this is gonna healed. suck so much. Because this guy. Kill me. The person who made this game doesn't know how to fucking make a game. And so I guarantee. And Birch is here. Hello, Hi, Birch. Hi, Birch. You're not supposed to be here. You're, you're out of bounds. Be before we started this session, Keith and I were debating do, 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 do. whether or not we should shut the door. And now the dog's here. And we didn't, we didn't, we forgot visit. about this consequence because we were well, like, well, that did some damage. We're like, nobody's home, so we can just leave the door open and we won't bother anybody, and that's fine. But I forgot that the that the dog downstairs likes to just jump the gate and come up and scare us. Do 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 I like how it says Fat Alex specifically. Like you become, you become a different person. Yeah, he's now Fat Alex. I do like the different versions of this theme. They keep iterating on the theme from the Mind Palace. That's that's the weird mumbly whistle song. It's because it's because it's it's a theme you like, so of course you're gonna like them reusing it as opposed to a lot of the really bad music they made for this game. Oh fuck. It also doesn't sound like it's just another song stolen, <laughs> like a lot of those songs do. <laughs> oh, Birch, you're losing your mind because you're not giving attention. We might. <laughs> they can my... probably they can probably hear the panting. <laughs> yeah, well, where was the shut hus him out? The husky just came up. He's here now. Petting you is more fun than game, but I have to game. Come quick, on, quick come Stephanie, on, dog. Pet dog. I'll, I'm gonna. So that I don't have to. Oh, his eyes are opening. I don't like that. We're awakening. <laughs> We're awakening the, the sleeper. Still haven't added categories to items, I see. Cool. It's 
cool. I don't need categories for my. No one has taken damage. Everyone's fine. See, that's what I'm saying. It's is, just is, me is like that's a stupid the stuff loser. that can they I, can that, I not? Can I just remove myself? They spent time adding like superfluous things nobody asked for and didn't fix like the really basic shit that everyone really needs. I can just remove them from the party. Fuck them. Who? Alex. <laughs> Well, Shitty baby that dies instantly. All right, so bird is MP infinity deep stream. What? What? Uh, <laughs> I can toggle the infinity affinity. and and deep strike. I the, don't know what those mean. Is there a, deep strike? Both of those deep sound strike. like fake deep things. Strike. Deep strike. It sounds good. Probably want a deep strike, right? I don't know. A deep stroke. <laughs> what element are these people? Andrew, what element are you? Yeah, well, judging by that picture, he's dark. He's dark type. <laughs> he's dark type because he's, he's edgy. <clears throat> Defense 68, 77, 67, 77, 78, 63, 53. <laughs> he does have the lowest defense, but not by like a massive margin that would expl explain him getting one shot. Why doesn't it say what element people are? No, you think you would know, or you think you would, uh, you you would list that. That seems important if you're gonna add yeah, that. Yeah, if they're gonna add elements to the game, shouldn't I be able to tell what element everybody is so I can switch to the right person? It's it's not as if it's it's. What immediate... is the element matchup system? Like, can I see it somewhere? Is there a chart? I think the worst thing that can happen to you is them revamping the entire combat system right when you get to the final dungeon. Was this watching porn, Alex? Uh, nobody could have predicted this playthrough ending this way. <laughs> well, also, why is he wearing sunglasses? Oh, he's shady, Alex. So he is watching porn. I was like, I was gonna say, who the fuck watch like wears sunglasses yeah. while they're watching porn? Like, that's a weird thing to do. That's because he's shady. <laughs> Bird's a fucking cat girl with fans. <laughs> Dude, I gotta like. Why'd they take the Hulu away? That's not even a related item. Yeah, I like that the. the I gotta fuck up his computer, I think. The, the two female characters get, like, sexified. They got waste computer, yeah. Although everyone turned into a fantasy character, which is a little weird. Maybe that's just the theme of their world. Uh. It's back? Why is it back? What? Is that what Deep Strike means? Does it turn on their old attack? Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. What? Could... <laughs> what? Maybe not, because I think I turned it on on everybody, didn't I? I don't know. Only one character suddenly had the old attack again. I'm really confused. I like the fan one dancing. One damage? You like the what? The fan dancing. He yeah. healed himself, though, that bitch. God, is the entire computer healed? Did they all attack with this fucking thing? Wait, wait, is this... Wait, is this the primary way combat works... Whenever you get attacked in general? Is what? the vine thing a replacement? Yeah, no, it's a replacement for the the, little, the last dodge that little thing. Meter? That meter didn't need to be fixed. That's what I'm saying. That little meter was already faster and less intrusive and also worked That's better. what I'm saying is they spent time fixing what? stuff and adding stuff that nobody wanted and didn't fix any of the actual problems. I'm so... Wait... I thought that was just a special thing for that boss fight. No. That, that was his attack and I had to avoid it. It's forever, That's Keith. What all, it's why forever. Why is this different now? How did I get back to this? I did five? Holy shit. Well, you're on easy mode now, so... Oh, yeah. No regrets. I just wanted this to be over. One damage. Nice. That was only... Oh, wow. Congrats, bird. <laughs> Bird, you're the best fan dancer. For some reason, Katana only does one damage to CPUs. With awesome power, he strikes. Oh god. It looks like trash, too. Like they, didn't, they couldn't make like a, a slight gradient in the background to make it not just a flat color or something. This game is so tedious that just now I forgot what the first Alex we fought during this playthrough was. I was thinking back to like, oh, what can these all represent? Like, obviously, Six. Alex is a, is a, is afraid of his. He doesn't Why like is his. Why only his attack the old one? His porn watching persona and you know, fat Alex is supposed to be a representation of his like inability to do anything because he's yeah, a lazy asshole. I guess. It 
But then I couldn't remember the first one that we fought. Is this porn Alex? This is porn Alex, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, yeah, he's sitting naked or in his underwear. Well, and it's, and computer. he said, get out of here or whatever. And, he, and he's called Shady Alex. He's yeah. shady. He's wearing glasses. Get it? He's wearing shades. <laughs> nobody's, nobody's attack animations fit their character. There you go. There you go. It's easy now. The character with fans attacks with a hula hoop. The character with a katana still attacks with a katana, actually. Uh, the person with an, a sword attacks with records. And the person with the loot attacks with a, a keyboard. Like, these. <laughs> the the, the on screen attack animations that I, I use for the QTEs are unaltered for the attacks. I kind of get, I kind of get the feeling that they weren't in contact with their artist anymore. So when they oh, wanted to change maybe. stuff, they had to do this awkward stuff, and that's why like the, the new defense screen is ugly as fuck. With the, <laughs> the smiley man. Where, yeah, where smiley man attacks you from the beginning of the game. Dude, that one's hard to get right. That was that. That didn't look too bad to me. It said poor, yeah. but it seemed like you had it. it that one time good. I had a sliver of red and it said good instead of perfect, and I was like, what? Everybody else is so easy to get perfect, and there's like a giant margin of error. I feel bad for the audience having to listen to this cacophony oh, of music. it's just noises right now. Well, it, okay, so that would be kind of okay if this battle was short, but yeah, it's not. Yeah, it just keeps going, and this is easy mode, or whatever I switched it to. It's a, it's a cacophony. Oh, this is the worst for- yeah, I just realized this is the theme again, but it's the worst one. Some person's like trying to go to sleep watching your videos and then this one shows up and they're like, what? It's like a really, really shitty version of like, Dummy. Which I love. I love the song Dummy. Well, most, do, most do, 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 things do, do, in comparison do, do, would be bad because it's so good. Do, 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 do. That guy's a genius. I love Dummy so much. <laughs> I love you too, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> I think I played that in the car last time. Yeah, no, the whole like, that's like how weirdly, that, that, that's how nice in. Toby Fox is. Is the entire soundtrack to the games on Spotify? Yeah. Most people are assholes and it's they like, don't put things like that on Spotify. It's like my favorite song is this one that nobody ever talks about. People will think it's Ruins, but that's. I didn't pick that for my credit song because it was my favorite. Is because it was a good credit song. The piano. Look, he's got his socks hanging on there, too. Slob. Perfect. Finally. Get him, bird. That's a lot of critical damage. <laughs> what? What is this, like, weird close-up? We've never seen this before. Yeah, th I think this is new. Oh, his eyes are changed. Oh, the different sizes. Ew! Screaming. He's a rage boy, and there's weird holes in him. You're causing curls in his beard. That's fine. Fuck him. Honestly, I fucking hate his guts. <laughs> yeah, no, he's the worst. There was somebody that left a comment that was like, what would it take for Keith and Stephanie to like Alex at this point? And it's like, I start over? Make a new character from scratch? Like, a Wow, this is just Triforces, huh? Trying to stack Triforces like he's playing... Like he's cup stacking. For me to like him, he would have to. The truth is, I'm not original. Like, uh, actually, I don't think I could like him. No. I was gonna say, what if he was like, all this was a joke, and it was all it. He, this isn't him at all, and he's all doing it ironically. <laughs> he's, he's being an asshole ironically the entire. I'm just doing he, it ironically. I think he genuinely doesn't have a likable trait. No, I was gonna say he's I can't think of a single thing I like about the him. Entire game, and then at the end he just takes credit for growing as a person without ever actually doing it. Which I don't is e even worse. I don't even like his shirt. I don't even like his hair. I don't like anything about. Like I can't even things that are superficial. I don't like about him. Everything I have to say that you found interesting has been said before. You haven't said anything that's interesting brave, to that's me. That's very brave of you to think that we found anything interesting. This is just the first time you've heard it. No. You've said exclusively things I've heard before. Yeah, honestly, you sound like you, you sound like a lot of people. Was this supposed to be a facade? Were we supposed to not realize you were unoriginal? Because you were. You're, you're, there's so, there's no substance to you as a person. I am a 
cult machine. I string things together, smarter people have said, to make myself appear to have value. You know what's funny? We know. Is I could think of... You know, Hank Green's book said that, too, but it actually came... It actually was like, wow, that, that's that's kind of humble or whatever, because this is a really creative and interesting book. <laughs> I, that's funny you say that, because I was going to say something like, I've heard people say that exact sentiment before but in ways that were more interesting <laughs> i could think of like some yeah i've heard literally this really before, nice from smarter people in like songs and movies where people say exactly this sentiment but in a better way he's saying it like it's a re reveal but we've been aggressively aware of it the entire time that he's just this amalgamation of unlikable traits from shitty characters and he's so smug and full of himself and thinks he's clever and he's just insufferable and he wakes up his panda in the middle of the night to talk about girls. Oh no. I'm the definition of pretentious. Forgive me. No, we're here to kill you. Yeah, we're here to end it. We're here to kill you with two more of you. This is better than the last one was. Poor Jaunty. Yeah. But it really is just the same theme being remixed. And, uh. God damn it. They took like no damage though. They're all like fucking invulnerable, but then my main character was getting one shot. Because you care about him the most. So and that you know. wasn't and that wasn't even easy mode. That was that was the first fight, it was already happening. I don't yeah. know why this attack turned back into this, but nobody else's has. Why did they decide to do this with this beard? Or it's tied into two things? Yeah. Uh he's, I mean he's a dwarf. I'm not really upset by it. I just think it's an interesting choice. He's a dwarf. I do like the purple. I so like how he's stacking triangles. I don't like that because I don't like the way he's doing it. <laughs> it is weird. There's some of them are just floating. Uh I don't get how this guy fits the theme of the other three characters. It's they don't seem related I, I, until now. I think they're just things that he's insecure about, but some and of them all, and, and he's just so bad at coming up with flaws for himself that they're mostly the same flaw repeating. Well, the first two seemed really similar. Yeah. He's apparently just ashamed of watching porn, so I'll just throw that in there. Nobody should be ashamed of watching hit. porn. That did, like, no damage. Do I do two elements? Card, Joker card, and fire. What's Joker card? I don't know. <laughs> what is this? Does rock and roll music beat Joker card? I like to think that we're literally the only playthrough in the entire game, in the entire world, that was affected by this patch midway, mid run through. Because we're having a completely unique experience of having this game change at the last second. That is definitely a possibility. Which is funny because the game's supposed to be changing drastically at the last second. They're like, oh my god, isn't it crazy how the world changed? Like, this isn't- what the fuck? Is it, yeah, why is that part back? What? What? They just ran. Why are they taking so much damage? Why are they taking all of their health and damage? Nope. What? Yeah, that's- oh, that's a lot. Oh, it's leaving them one- one, no matter what. But like, what? No, but no matter what you what do, you- the, Wait, it's just ha- uh, Run, 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 run! Uh, wow, I had no time to understand what was happening. So, I, it got you- no matter what, you- you have one HP when you get hit. No matter how many- how much health you have. That's kind of bullshit, but... What the fuck? I don't have no strawberry bananas PP. See, in I a, need to have in a game, there's some games that do that, like in Pokemon, like I was saying, but it's really balanced because you only have like a one in like four chance or one in like ten whatever chance of ever hitting those moves in the first place. So I do that. Pokemon's kind also of already like a giant mess of getting one shot <laughs> without any weird abilities that do it. I'm just saying if you're gonna, I'm just saying if you're gonna give like a character this. This or superpower, usually they, ha they should like have to like sleep afterwards or something. Your own personal, personal pizza. pizza. <laughs> <laughs> something for you to hold close. <laughs> I'm gonna write Weird Al. <laughs> it is just a Weird Al. Why did, it, why did it randomly switch back to the old system for the first time? So confused. Oh, he's a lifestyle on him. <laughs> I really wish these were sorted. Jesus Christ.
birch beer like the dog that was just here. He can't drink beer. Or is it beer made of him? Perfect. I think the reason... I keep thinking I see her nipples. <laughs> she, she spins around really fast and you can't make out what you're looking at that well. But you can see boobs and then two spots, which are like the shine. I'm gonna look but, for but them now. Yeah, all I can see is the shine, and I keep thinking her nipples are out, and I'm like, what? Why? Why did you tell me that? So now I'm gonna seek them out. Because she does have like a brown top and everything, so it's like it leads to some lack of contrast problems. They, where you're like, what am I looking they at? They definitely did that on purpose. I love when people like dress people in like skin tone, and I'm like, bitch, you did that on purpose. You want me to think that that person's naked for a second? Mm -hmm. Subconscious. God damn it. I can't- I actually genuinely can't tell if that's the new defense screen or if it's actually just a special boss fight thing. Because now the old one came back and I was like, everything's out the window now, what's going on? You'll never know. And like, this guy's using his old attack now instead of the thing where I just press A once, and I can't tell if that's supposed to be happening. Okay, I'm gonna look for those nips. <laughs> yeah, no, I see it, I see it. Because <laughs> she's wearing like a bra that's skin color. I will tell you that's not where the nipples would be. <laughs> The well, little yeah, wrong you can't, spot. You, can't, you don't have time to look, though. You're just like, what did I see? I think it's supposed to be shine, which is kind of a weird shine. choice. Ah! What Wait. is the next game we're playing, and why is Mario Sunshine? <laughs> I oh my gosh, I would love to play Mario Sunshine. It's on the it's on the list of possibilities. They put out the they made it easy. They did the Mario 64 Sunshine Galaxy trilogy release on the Switch. I love Super Mario Sunshine, but that's a long-ass game, though. That'd be a commitment. Like this? It'd, be, it'd probably be longer than this, because the there's like... I've, I have 100 percent of that game, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I'm pretty cool. Well, no, Everyone you, should think I'm cool. You have to go get like all, this, all the stupid blue coins and all that How stuff. How the fuck?! That just takes practice. You have no... You'll never know how to do that minigame. Well, on the floor. You know, it's, it's shine. It's titty shine. Only salts. Because when you see her from the from the side, she has it, and you you very clearly supposed to be titty shine. Yeah. She wearing like mesh panty like pantyhose across her mesh back, like mesh she, like that. She's wearing like something sheer mesh. Yeah. Because yeah. you can see her bra, and then there's just, like a slight darkness everywhere else, but only some but not on her belly. No, they definitely weren't hoe clothes. Which is fine, I guess. I just don't like it from this from this writer. I don't feel good about it. Yeah. Also, isn't Chandra like 17? Yeah. Like the underage characters wearing the most revealing clothing. I have no idea how old she is. <laughs> I don't remember. I had to defend a minor at my job today from a what? perverted old man. I don't like that. No, it, and I, I told him, like, I was like, you know, I was like, you know, she's a minor. I just threw that in at the end, and he was like, and "He's like, oh, but that's more of minor inconvenience." Yeah, 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 he said, he said, like, he says, "I won't tell if you won't," and I said, "Oh, oh you better leave." God. <laughs> I was like, "Sir, Jesus. you need to leave." So bored. <laughs> I'm so bored. End. End. What is he doing, sir? What are you trying to achieve with those triangles? Yeah, he's making. Funny triangles. Let's focus do, do, on the do, girls. Do. Does it just focus on them? I guess it's girls the are the best. Maybe it's just whoever's there. I think it's zoom, it might just zoom on, on your first person, which they think is Alex, <laughs> but it's. Uh, I think his eyes gonna pop. He he looked. Uh, his tongue came out. I don't like that. <laughs> It's supposed to be like wacky and interesting, but I just hate looking at it. He's so quirky. <laughs> That's a little bit more than quirky. Quirky. Oh my gosh, you're That's so like quirky. Turkey sandwich. <laughs> I want to order a meatball sub. The meatball sub. Yeah, why aren't there meatball subs in this game? They they took they made, they put less lemonade, but didn't put any meatball subs. <laughs> what kind of patch is this? Why was there less lemonade? Maybe there's just too much lemonade is there in the lemonade game. Lemonade mini game that I forgot about. Is, is lemonade a euphemism for something else? What does lemonade mean? I don't know. I know what lemons means. I've read enough fan fiction. 
<laughs> but I don't know what lemonade would be. What if it just never ends? Uh, I mean, everything ends if you just give up. <laughs> <laughs> I could just walk straight there, but I'm going to follow the tiles. No, I, I appreciate that dedication. Wait! Oh. Don't go. I need to talk to you. I forgot about you again. She's a specter, so she's semi-translucent. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> she's semi a lot of things <laughs> if she's a specter. Is that why her name's Semi? No. <laughs> it's no. Honestly, this is gonna be a little hard to say because I know how much it's going to hurt. But I have to warn She looks dead-eyed. She looks like she does not Yeah. She looks like a fish. Oh, it's because she's not a portrait. This is the first time we've seen her. Yeah. Everyone who talks to you is a portrait in this game, but she's just a 3D model talking at us. This is actually weird. Just beyond that light, you're going to discover something really terrible. Why did they just change the art style out of nowhere? Did they lose their artist for the ending? So they had to animate a talk a talking 3D model for the only time in the game at us? That is weird. What's going on? I didn't you know, that is what, <laughs> that is what is wrong. Nothing I can say is going to make it easier. But I need to say this to you. Okay. I'm sorry it used me to get to you. I'm sorry for all the lies it told you when all you wanted to do was help me. No. Oh. Uh, so this is an entire game where fucking Alex acts like he's the fucking main character of a story and his arc is supposed to be realizing that he's not the center of the universe, but then he turns out to be the center of the universe. Yeah. And he's literally the most important person to ever exist, and that's the story of the game. Yeah. Despite his arc seemingly pointing in the opposite direction. Yeah. On top of that, you would think part of his arc is supposed to be like not obsessing over Semi and acting like this was all some special thing and he's entitled to her and like she was like some magic step in his journey as opposed to somebody who went missing or committed suicide and that's supposed to be impor important in her own world but now we're literally talking about how everything that happened with Semi was just used to get to Alex it was literally because of Alex and for Alex and that's why it all happened it li she literally was the center of her entire story. Again. Her, her situation was completely put to the wayside and belittled in all of its seriousness to help some loser feel like he had something to do. And it really, it, this like what happened with her was really, really like kind of uh, taken in a very non-serious way. If you really think about it, if you really think about if this had happened in I'm real life, I'm it would be kind of pathetic. But uh, I think, so what, what I... I mean, I see why people are mad now, especially. Yeah, because it's about, it's it was supposed woman. to be a real person. It's a real person who like, you're using the tragedy of and adapting her. And there's a long, there's a weirdly long history of her exact death being dramatized via a series of different shows and movies and stuff, which is weird in its own right. But in this case, it's not even about the, like, normally you dramatize it like where it's like the mystery of what happened to her is the story. But instead, the mystery of what happened to her is just a fucking step in Alex's journey well, and he's what's actually important about you it. You could justify, it's like, what the fuck? you could say like, okay, you know, what this girl is missing and that's really serious. But the reason that we just see it from Alex's perspective is because he is our main character. And yes, like he's an asshole for doing that. But the game is now saying, no, that's actually canon. Her her situation's actually not important because Alex's situation yeah. is important. Like the game, story the that's game based is based on a real person that disappeared and died is all just a stepping stone in Alex's journey and only happened because of him and for him. And he's only the only part that matters. It's like those it's like uh, those people that say stuff like uh, everything happens for a reason, but they talk about like really tragic events as being those things. And it's like, well, I'm glad that you found some purpose in this when these people who were actually involved did not <laughs> get any choice to find purpose. In it's this. definitely like a hundred times more disrespectful than just writing a story where it's like about trying to solve this murder or whatever. And the, mur and the murder is based on a real one. At least then it's like you're it's still 
a, the murder and it's, yeah, well, like it's, it's still the focus it's, it's still like, the focus of the story as opposed to just being like fridge a real life woman to <laughs> <laughs> Like, holy shit. <laughs> That's you know, a lot to take in. I do want to say, though, what I think is going to happen is I think it's the fucking android she's talking about. Maybe. You know, what bro this is so this is a level of grossed out that I've felt when I read Devil Man. Because Devil Man, in the middle, there's a part that he didn't use in Cry Bear, Baby, and I've told you about this before, but. There's a time travel storyline in the manga. I am aware that of this. They just don't put in the show yeah. because it's one. It has nothing to do with the rest of the story, but like the entire middle third of Devil Man is a time travel storyline where they keep traveling to different periods of time and fighting devils that are trying to fuck with history essentially. And it invariably one one of the chapters weirdly tries to make. Uh, Hitler sympathetic. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Being, while he's being picked on by an evil Jew that's like drawn like a Jew stereotype, like like propaganda one, you're like, oh god, this is a very old manga. Like, this was relatively close to when they were on that side of the war. Oh god, this manga. But uh there's also a, a weird fixation. Well, because you, you got the original and... Devil Man. You didn't get the oh, yeah, other I got one. The original Devil what's, Man. What's the second one? The Devil one... Man Rebirth or Revenge. <laughs> Devil Man Re. I, th I think usually people when people are like, oh, go back and read Devil Man, they don't mean that one the, that you're the, I'm pointing the, to on the, your the, shelf. The they, new one they is a mean, bunch of like pretty anime boys. They mean the and other the old, one. The old one looks like Speed Racer. Yeah, well, yeah, it's a time. That's you what know? it looked like back then. But the uh, I don't think the one, Nazi there's a whole chapter with in distressed, the other one. There's also a whole chapter of, of distressing Native American tribes and stuff, and I'm like, mm hmm. But uh, there's multiple chapters where they go back in time to a female heroic figure and damsel her. <laughs> like Joan of, oh, Joan of Arc, yeah, I was gonna say, I think I, I they knew that. Yeah. Joan of Arc, yep. and I'm like, what? You, what? Fuck off! <laughs> what? Why did you go back in time and damsel Joan of Arc so what? she can become someone that's part of the story of Devil Man? It's like, it's like that. It's along the lines of this, where it's just like he, I, it was obviously a myth real. because girls don't do things on their own like that. Duh! It was obviously like a fake story, like like King Arthur or something. You know that you have a Joan of Arc's not real. <laughs> you know you have a fixation on like damseling and fridging women Girls when you don't literally go things. back in time and rewrite the stories of real women to to re to introduce those elements to them. Like that's the only way you know how to write them. Every so woman who just write their ever did correctly. anything great had a man helper, don't you know? <laughs> that's why Devil I... Man. <laughs> he saved her. <laughs> I think they even that I think it was even worse where it's like she was even getting like partially stripped with, the, with like the threat of rape oh, and things no. like that and it's like Jesus Christ know, guys dude and Joan stop. of Arc's like has a lot of she's a saint she yeah she Literally. yeah yeah stop anyway let's enjoy this ending <laughs> you feel like it was all for nothing I appreciate how hard you tried he forgot about you every like 10 minutes anytime a girl who was not you yeah. showed up he totally forgot about the whole point yeah he completely fixated on you and kept talking about how it was like life changing and you have a thing and you're bonded or whatever the fuck but then he, destiny but he also said that about like two other women at least i want to kiss vela yeah I, I feel like she knows me so well and, and the android's so hot there's a took vela's character and snapped it over their knee by having them kiss and her being like oh <laughs> It's like, oh, it's hold, like, you didn't earn this at all. Hold on, grow, they, Ginger they never, Boy. They never grew closer. He just was like, I like... I was hoping she'd get pissed off, and yeah. I was really bummed that she didn't. All he did was say, I like your song. I, 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 guess, I guess that's when they fell in love on the swing set, because... Your song's all right. It was framed like a romance scene. It didn't have any romance in it, but that's how you like frame a romance scene. It's like on the swings. It's what? Like, oh, it's just like Romana Flowers. <laughs> one day I will make a song and no one will like it, but one person, and then I'll go and I'll cry and I'll sit on a swing and then he'll tell me that he kind of liked it and then we'll fall in love. I want to die. Go back to where I call home now. Thank you for everything. Where you call home? We don't know anything about you. We don't know anything about you. No, I didn't even recognize her voice. What a disservice. She's been, she's been in the game so little. The funny thing is, I think I was able to walk past her. I was like, please <laughs> talk to me. And then I cut to this screen where I could move. And I was like, wait, can I just leave? That's funny. And not click on her. This is the one that sounds like yesterday. 
Yeah, from the it's because it's Sammy's Sammy's theme. So we're back to yesterday. Love was something that's so sad. Uh 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 I like these characters. I wish they were in a different game. Look at these people. Look at them. Look at them. I know you. I oh. you. What is this? I like that guy. Look at him. He's kicking the little screen. He's kind of cute. Oh, and it says semi. It says that she's missing. Semi pack. Screens are flashing between. A, it's between a blue screen and semi packs. Mint wanted post or missing poster. There's an eye in the background staring at us. I knew that. I knew These it was gonna be cool. the android. I'm really surprised to see you here. I'm glad you made it this far. Is Proto Alex here? I'm here to finally- <laughs> No. I'm freaking out about the fact that their mouths move now. That is weird. This game suddenly became not portraits. Like, they- I, I think they lost contract with, contact with that artist. They just didn't finish the game. <laughs> oh, man! You poor, poor guy. That's also Alex? Why do they all sound the same if they looked really different? That's the coolest one. What did she say to get you here? Look, I don't want any trouble. Just let me drink my tea. Come on, Alex, attack. Take him out. You've come this far. Jesus. This again? Oh, hilarious. Yeah, uh-huh. Look, I'm not your enemy. We're one and the same. We go through this every damn time, woman. Tell the truth. Person are you talking to? If he still wants to kill me after, then I'll, I'll take my chances. With yeah, he's not. He's not looking at anybody. I guess he's talking to Essentia. Yeah. Who looks like Vela even more now? Kind of. I mean, she's a sassy, uh -huh. dark-haired girl again. But she's wearing Alex's plaid. There's a lot going on here. Oh yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Look, man, I don't want to burst your bubble, but. She lies all the time. Can you slow down that talking animation just a smidge? They, they no one on the planet talks that way. They always do that with every character, it's, though. It, yeah, but it's so much. Whatever she thinks you want to hear comes out of her mouth. She envies my power. And we may all be one of the same, but I drew the proverbial long straw. She needs all the help she can get, even if it's from a skinny MC. MC. Yeah, look, I'll make this simple for you. Musical composer. I don't know. MC. MC Hammer. Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that is what MC stands for. What does what it stand for? Mix Chief. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you. You're me. She's us as well. The division of our soul isn't exactly natural, and she wants out. She wants to be the last one here. She just can't accept our little arrangement. The font just got smaller. It did. I saw it too. This way for a long time, man. So tell me. <laughs> yeah. What lies did she tell you to get you here, Sasha? Is this true? You mean you don't think I'm hot and you're not in love with me <laughs> for no reason? There's three Alexes. An Essentia who might be Alex too, for all I know. Like, I can't tell anymore. What if everyone's Alex? Oh no. What if you're Alex and I'm Alex and Kiki is Alex? Why does he talk normal and she doesn't? That's what Essentia sounds like. I know, but. But isn't she a liar? I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. I think she's saying she's lying to herself. So I think Alex is Essentia. You've done it. We've all done it. I said what I needed to say to get you here. What do you want? She's, she's sassier now. This version of her. Well, yeah, because now she's she's been exposed, so she doesn't have to try to front. Yeah, the other one acts like a weird neutral robot. I'm sorry. I used the poor girl's disappearance as a catalyst. But would anything else really have motivated you? I think a lot of things could have. I don't know how you would have known he would have reacted that way to her disappearance specifically. I feel like her death was actually relatively minor in the events of this game. Like, 
pretty much just meeting Vela would have set all these co events on in course, and that was going to happen inevitably because she r ran the video game, she ran the arcade, and he's a loser. <laughs> he had nothing else to do. He doesn't have a job. He's just going to go to the arcade and then meet Vela, and then have the hots for Vela, and then find out shit. I can't. I... How? How the fuck is this possible? How could you lie to me? Just go home. I don't want to fight anyone. Are there even worlds left to save? I don't know. I don't know. No, no, no. She's only five foot two. She's ninety pounds. Wow. Well, five foot. You. You've been through. Yeah. Enough. Just relax. Take a deep breath and let me know what you want to do. I'm gonna kill you. I pull these levers. You like this. You like this music. I, I think this world's pretty cool looking, like this. Like the, like this the, the face staring at us in the background. I like him laughing with his hand behind his uh, yeah. head like an anime character. Like he's ah, like ah, he's ah, Luffy. Ah. The little Ness is down he's, here. He's like, hey, hey, hey. I'm cheeky. <laughs> Did you decide? Will you fight? Do you actually have a choice? Of course I'm gonna fight. Well, I was gonna say, if you can't just, you can't don't leave, say right? Don't I didn't warn you. Maybe there's an ending if you don't fight. Oh, these guys are here. Is it is it the so the whole thing being like the male like the you know the uh, oh, dead. the concept that every person has like a male and female influence inside know. them, like the anima animus argument. I think this means that Alex is Essentia, which means Alex is Vela. Ew! And is, and is semi. Ew! You kiss yourself. Yeah. I guess that's not too bad. <laughs> I'd kiss myself you if could. I could. Yeah, it's pretty underwhelming at that point. I don't like how they're like looking at each other. I don't like how they like slug, like <laughs> like slug. Th their people, skin texture is not. People. Holy power. Oops. No, remember the, uh, there's a Junji Ito story like that, where they end up, it's a very short one. Yeah. But it's in, uh, Uzumaki, I think, and it's where they get twisted up in each other, like two snakes. It's, uh, it's like the lovers that fall in love, and they, like, they get twisted up, and their bodies stretch. Uzumaki's distressing. <laughs> yeah. The opening chapter was just him fucking folding himself into a bucket. <laughs> I mean, what else could you ask for? Anything really. <laughs> <laughs> that one was actually perfect. I'm like, all the other times I've said I was perfect. That one met my standards for perfect. They wrap around the party. Oh no, you, I died, Keith. Um. We both died. Um. We all died. Your friends are dead. <laughs> well. When did you last save? Da, da, da. Da, da, da. <laughs> Would you like to continue? Good for you. What? I think I was supposed to lose. Um, I, w I This is new. This yeah. is definitely new. Look at my little goober. Why is this one flashing? All these people are just repeating. So we've suspected all this time, like, so like, is that the protagonist of his, his previous game? That might be what that <laughs> is. Is that the level we're on now, meta-wise? Well, he's using art from the other game, right? Because yeah. didn't we establish that some of this was from the other game? I mean, those guys, well, we, we always saw, we, the... So his, his previous game was on his shirt, and then the town fountain is in Game Boy Colors from before there was color. That weird sickly sort of brownish green that the original Game Boy was because it was it was monochrome But it wasn't black. It was like a weird green Yeah, oh, yeah, I know I know it's so, yeah, it's like it's almost like an army So he, he has like a color. Game Boy style old game Hey Alex You don't know who I am probably Not a lot of people do 
but I'm gonna yeah, it, it's the character from his other game. That's why he's saying not a lot of people know. Yeah, because nobody played my game. But it sounds like the same voice actor as Alex. I've lost everything. Trust me, I really have. I know what it's like to do everything in your power to try and improve your life with a valiant effort, only to disappoint your friends. You can tell family, this is his fan base. This is his voice, but he's doing it like deeper and more manly like this. So I want a meatball sub. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that our shorthand? <laughs> that's just that's just what somebody with this voice would do. Life is hard, but it's important that you keep on fighting. You're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to go on yet. I want you to go back, and I want you to fight. I doubt I'll ever get my chance to fight again, because some people have worked really hard to prevent me from finishing my quest. Is is that is that a is that some sort of comment on the on the game uh, that you? They worked hard to prevent you from finishing. Your, what the fuck does that mean? Is this some sort of thing uh, we don't understand? I mean, Somebody I in the if, if anybody knows actually I'm genuinely interested, please tell me. It's like metatextually it's just him being continually frustrated that his games don't go over well. Nobody likes the stuff I making, make. He, yeah, what does he mean when he says someone prevented him from doing he, it? Not enough people liked it, so I couldn't yeah, make that's another not the same, one. He better not fucking mean that. Like his game wasn't popular enough, therefore people are against me. All, attacking all me. my all the people in real life who don't actually like me were spreading bad rumors about the game and were just like you know, making it seem really uncool and stuff, and so nobody played it because it got a bad rep. This is a really awkward thing. I could just see something like to that. To put in the climax. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Think about the conflict that stands in your way. Think about the division inside you. This just bums me out because I like Roy from Fire Emblem, and I just been you know, thinking like this blonde Roy showing up. No, I was just thinking about Roy now, and I'm like, Roy's my boy, but nope, mm -hmm. not this one. Tackle it with your brain, and maybe. Just maybe, this time it will work out for you. Brain uses tackle. It's comatose. Yeah, that would hurt I your brain. My hardest, and I'm happy with what I accomplished. But you're younger. You can do so much. Don't let this be the end for you. I'm disgusted. I think that was a remember nod. The, remember this part of Scott Pilgrim? The movie? <laughs> Where he loses against Gideon. Yeah. He, climb, he climbs some the stairs. The stairs again. And loses Gideon. Then he respawns beforehand and climbs the stairs again. This time he beats Gideon and claims his girlfriend <laughs> or whatever. Like, visually, this is Ramona. And it wasn't she yeah. even sitting in a chair? Well, he was. I mean, he did have some sort of this kingly throne like situation this actually lo it, it looks a lot like the gideon fight repeating weird and yeah that was in a club and you did there's like stairs running up to the fight yeah <laughs> and yeah he, he gets he gets banished to the being dead world then he gets like a pep talk and For, from his nega from Ramona in that case no no, no no it's from his nega self I think he gets a pep talk from Ramona in that one. Oh, no, at the end, at the end, he, he has to yeah. fight his nega self and they just end up yeah. being friends. They do become friends, yeah. But in that part, he, like, he gets a pep talk from Ramona who also reveals that, like, there's a chip on the back of her head and stuff like that. And, and then, then he's like, Scott earned the power of self-respect. And then he comes back and fights Gideon again. Yeah, instead of using the power of love, yeah. which is, like, diluted. I like how even this part's derivative. Yeah. <laughs> of a thing I like, again, so it's frustrating. That guy's really laughing. Yep. It's fucking gross. <laughs> this, I, is a, this is a good visual. I like this part. I constantly wish that, these, that some of these visuals were in a better game. The visuals are okay. I'm not like super into them to be honest. But I haven't, I, like, it's just not my style. It is clean. Some of it's cute. I like the nightmare villain. This... I, don't, I don't like almost any of their new costumes. They're kind of a nightmare. I like this evil, I like this fucked up enemy. No, I think it's interesting. <laughs> weird vein stage they're on. She's kind of, she looks at him like she loves him. She doesn't look like she's being held captive. It, yeah. 
if on a normal person she would look enamored, but because she's her, it's just the fact that her eyes are blank at all times. <laughs> so that's what she always looks like. And it never changes. I like how Bird just always looks like uh, she's dancing in her little icon up there. Like she's always like boogieing down. Actually, I really like the fan dance because it's really like. It seems really dismissive to what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm just dancing. Don't like, give I don't. A fuck about anything. I'm that's not happening thinking here. about my life. What would really suck is if I got one shot again and then it made me replay the entire fight, including the part where I have to die and come back. <laughs> Like how miserable that would be, and I have to replay the entire conversation. But it's okay, you can put auto, uh, auto scroll on. Uh. What the fuck? She, they just one-shot the whole party. Why did I grind? <laughs> yeah. They just wasted my time with that stupid grind. I hate it. They, gr they had me grind for months. Only to immediately have all those people act like weird cartoon people. So the last time we ever had a real conversation with those characters was basically Christmas. Yeah. And then they all died. Because the only fight that happened after that point you had to lose no matter what. And then they all are dead. So all those, they're literally dead and gone forever. And I'm playing with completely different people that have different stats and are weirdly unkillable. Except for now when they all die in one hit. Yeah, we're. So why, did, why did I even grind for a moment? We're all your real friends. <laughs> what was any of that for? Oh, yeah, everyone's dead. Like, every character you've ever cared about in this game died already. So, like, fuck everything. Who cares? <laughs> is this guy gonna. Alex is the only person left. Well, I mean, there's one named Stephanie now, so I have new stakes in it. <laughs> oh, my fucking god. It would be funnier if he was just, like, seriously, dude. <laughs> Yik, final boss getting one shot. What is the fucking thing I'm supposed to know? Is there a trick to this? Fuck, oh, but what if the what if they change the fucking mechanic? It's not it doesn't work that way anymore. That would drive me absolutely fucking insane. If they change the what mechanic? Okay, so that's, yeah, that's what I thought. What did you think? Okay. The fight's unwinnable. So it's a waste of time. So... Yeah, so come over here, you asshole. Yeah, follow Keith's lead. Oh my uh, gosh, why don't you walk? Why couldn't a, they just he make He doesn't you have walk? a walking animation. But he's just dressed differently. He's the same character model. Remove plug. From where? Yes, yeah, so you're not supposed to do the fight. If you think this is the right thing to do, I'll follow your lead. Was it? it we haven't established what it's gonna do. Let's yeah. Go. That's, oh. not, that's not what unplugging looks like. That's a whoa, whoa, lever. Wait, 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 don't do that! That's the only thing keeping this division permanent. Do not unplug us. We will be whole again. Don't do it. Don't unplug. Without this, everything goes back to the way it was. What is that? Isn't that what we want? If we do this, but this is what my heart's telling me to do. I have no idea what this is going to do. Well, we have no other options, so fuck off. If you do this, only one of us will be here. This is it. Unplug them. It'll be Alex. I don't know which of us will remain, but I want to thank you. You helped me fight this battle. You were everything I ever wanted to be. Keith, you're everything Alex ever wanted to be. Who the fuck is he? He's like, you. Who am I? He's you, Keith. Look at the sparkles around his head. He's I'm, I'm everything he wanted me to be. Like all I did was follow his lead and, uh, and follow his orders and basically say nothing. Who you, the fuck is Keith he, in this game? Like, what is his personality? How, it's, is, he, it's how you. is he better and more fulfilled than Alex? It's you. So you just project yourself onto there, and you can fill in the blanks uh, yourself. And don't you feel? Why am I wearing a dead panda? Because you killed him. Because he's a punk ass bitch. 
and he gives bad advice and he's not real. He's wearing orange. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Actually, I like orange. Not purple. Kill them. <laughs> <laughs> like his little, his little torn jeans. Like he's some, like he's like the crow or something. He's Chris Angel. What am I looking at? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Why are the naked bodies <laughs> <running> around him? <laughs> and some of my party members or something? Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, we never checked what alternate world Rory looked like. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, fuck, huh? I forgot to check Rory and Michael. I forgot. Ooh, okay. I mean, they didn't even have dialogue. They, like, that's how little they put. That's the little, little they put into alternate worlds version it's people. All done. I'm with you. It's all up to you now. Sorry again for dragging you into this. I shouldn't have been so stupid. He's talking to you, Keith. Everything she said really got to me. It's part not, of not too late to give me a refund. He's part of you now. That sorry. <laughs> I was so worried about hurting my friends. They're all dead. The difference between being flawed and being evil. It doesn't matter now. How did you not know the difference? What the fuck does that- what does that even mean? What is he even saying? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> being evil is one of my strengths. I don't know the difference between being flawed and being evil. <laughs> so worried about hurting your- you hurt your friends all the time throughout the entire game, relentlessly. You just screamed at Rory, remember? <laughs> When was he's And then you kissed him without his consent. His his we're talking about him having a history of being so timid that he was because he was afraid of hurting his friends. Is that the implication? Like what the fuck is this line mean? What does the screen mean? This this never once showed up in this game as the being a It doesn't plot reflect point. any of the game. What the fuck? Look out for us. Look out for me. Look out Take for easy. He's a part of you now, Keith. How do you feel about that? He just he Oh it's the same song again. He's in he's inside you now. You are Alex, and Alex is it's key. It's like da 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 da. It's going really slow, but it's the same song again. Except right now, where it's one note. Oh, it's gonna probably be gone now. It just ends. <laughs> it's just over. Written by a Japanese localization. <laughs> it looks like you're supposed to read it that way. <laughs> um, Andrew Allenson, huh? I gotta look that guy business up. Business cat, Sandra Cow. But what actually happened to Sammy? We didn't fucking. What did we? What did she actually? What actually happened to her? Wait, what did, did we, she? Is she dead? What even happened in the end? What did we accomplish? Just fucking runs out of game. Is there a post credit? Did we? We so we didn't save the world. The world's over, and everyone's dead. Are they implying that all of the world ending was being caused by Essentia and Alex wanting to split into two different people, and so they were splitting apart all of the universe? For a game that would never shut the fuck up, that was like unexplained. Like they didn't really explain what the fuck was happening at the end there at all. I. Do you know Alex and Rory's mom was the same person? Because mom and, and mom and Alex. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew Fayette. The golden alpaca was DC, DC Douglas. Th th they had their own voice actor. I. This hurts my brain. And not because it's like primer or something <laughs> where it's complicated. It's more like I'm like baffled that after being so long winded, the game just is like, I don't know, credits. <laughs> like, there has to be post credits, right? There has to be something left. I don't think there is. Like, like it, it just cuts to black? Okay, here's a part where, um, uh, his, um, Toby Fox's name would have been. It might still be there. Yeah. Yep, yeah, there it is. is. He deleted his tweet about being in the game, but that doesn't mean that he's like deleted from the credits of the game. That was the best part of this whole game. That is the best person in this whole credits list. Chipocrit. <laughs> 
You thought Trevor Moore. You know Wait. Trevor Moore? Like from Whitest Kids You Know? I don't think that could be from that. <laughs> that, can, that wouldn't make any sense. Why well, doesn't it make sense? I don't know. Why would he be in this? He doesn't have anything to do with video is. games. He's a sketch comedy artist. Ba, 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 ba. They're crediting that song to Bella Wild. That's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> this this song And most of them are barely characters Ben Diskin Wait are these voice actors or are these special things I didn't see it the fan game or these are special things okay I was like what the fuck when was Ben Diskin in this game <clears throat> He's that one guy that plays uh Every character. <laughs> uh, Haida. Uh, oh. Ben Diskin. And he's also the Labrador and Beastars stars and so on. And the main character of BNA. Who is the er, second main character? Of who BNA. is he in this? I think it's, I think this is a special thanks section. I, I'm like, surely he didn't. <laughs> that guy who said hi on Twitter. Okay, it's special thanks. I'm like, I don't think Ben Diskin's in this game. What the fuck? <laughs> I okay. Think it costs more than everyone else in this game, which are YouTubers and things. It's not Trevor Moore the comedian. I had to look it up because I was gonna be really upset. I had to know. Yes, <laughs> it was gonna be, make me really sad. Yikster. The person's username is based on being a tester of the game. They built their whole identity around it because it's, be it's the most important thing that they've done. This little yikster over here. Well, one point, patch 1.25 was see. a curveball. <laughs> Congratulations on beating Y2K, a postmodern RPG. I guess that means that guy's name is Y2Kster. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> uh, oh, great. New Game, New Game Plus. Plus. A converted back to raw EXP. Uh, that means you can level them up again from scratch, but just by pressing level up a bunch of times. Mm. And I guess you can do the whole... I think the main thing is that, that means you can do the whole... The thing again for Alex from scratch. And try to make better choices or whatever if you want to. Like, recut, respec him. I don't know. The leveling system was trash. I, I would hate having to redo the, the entire thing again. Sure. <laughs> Great. Great. What will you do? Da 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 da. Wow. Time for new game plus. It just fucking ends. Those are the thrones that, that they run at the end. Yeah, but like that guy being in the background is for nothing. Yeah, that, that, that... yeah, that's just a random thing. That's a random detail of the Essentia dungeon, I think, which also the Gundam is. Yeah, let's see. The Gundam isn't. There's not no point, and uh, we never found out what the what the Starmen really were. Wait, yeah, they just stopped showing up. And we didn't. They were like seemingly the primary antagonist, and the game kind of forgot about them halfway through when they stopped showing up. There's an angel in the background over there, and I don't know why. The crown doesn't mean anything, I guess. Not really. It was there in the, like, she was wearing a crown. References? Oh, oh my. It's all the games oh, that are referenced no. in the game off. They, after they referenced off. Murakami? Apparently. Why do they do that? There's no homage to off. Wait, where? why did they, where's all this Murakami at? <laughs> I don't know. Clearly Inherent you're not enough vice? Of a fan of that thing, or you'd be able to know where it was. My, well, but but the a direct quote of word def. Wait, no, <laughs> that's the first one. The Matrix. That heard, I heard about that. There's a secret. Uh, there's a secret ending you get by taking the red pill. By it's taking the Matrix. The, what? Because that's how you leave the Matrix. You take the red pill. Yeah. So if you take the you take the red pill in this game at some secret place somewhere, and it, you, get, you get a secret ending. Where's our red pill? I have no idea. <laughs> But I guess people were mad because they thought that it was like the like an MRA thing, 
like men's rights activism. Yeah, like, that's kind of, yeah. Because of the red pill subreddit and stuff like that. But I'm like, ah, that's probably just actually referencing the Matrix. It's probably not, I hate women. <laughs> the pill. Like, that would be, <laughs> it, it does play into some refer some of the ster things people feel about this, but I don't know if it's that go that far. Infinite jest, fucking infinite jest. Everyone, people have Wonder thoughts on that Apparently one. Apparently, Wonderwall by Oasis. Yeah, somewhere. Lost Odyssey. Okay. Honestly, this is a surprisingly short list of references. For Where? A game like this. I was expecting to be able to scroll. <laughs> is all of is is like the plot of this game? Doki Doki references Panic. to Murakami's works because that they didn't do it right. <laughs> I don't know. Doki Doki Panic because you play as a Invelas thing, you jump on the thing and you pick it up. Yeah, yeah. Where's Murakami? No, the first like five are all his books. Oh. One of them was a full excerpt. I don't remember that. There they are. Recontextualized excerpt. Well, that's a lot of those. He's a he's a um Inherent he's he's a modern Japanese writer who who specializes in magical realism. Pong. So he does a bunch of weird, trippy trippy stuff. So maybe this guy was like, I have all these meanings to all these things. I made this game. It doesn't make any sense. Was that always there? What? The references thing. Maybe it was. <laughs> Why do you go back here? Oh, can you get like, yeah, 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 I wanna, yeah, 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 see what they look like I wanna see what they look like. Oh, he's a genie, I forgot. And Rory's like a weird knight with a giant shield or something. Oh. His hair is now his helmet. Oh, he has, oh got my god. He's still a pacifist. He has helmet hair. I got your back. <laughs> is it? He's got a helmet? Is it? He's a fucking genie? What the? I forgot we did see these, but we totally forgot yes. because it was not memorable. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. Uh, I was supposed to press it when I hit the frame. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> that was fucking weird. What? The, ca the camera shook yeah. while he shakes his camera. It, it, yeah, it's supposed to be like a camera joke, but he's just swinging like a fucking necklace or something. Because <laughs> this is the look how fucking huge his ear is. This is just a big rectangle. They gave him like weird uh, circles around his eyes. Yeah, that's also. I'm oh, sorry. I know that's supposed to be like dramatic lighting. It looks odd. Well, I think I commented on this when they drew that old man who was supposed to be really hip, and they drew him like the wrong way. And then in Yuzu also, but I was like trying to explain how like they used lighter colors to. Like, instead of having sunken circles where it's supposed to be sunken with dark, they used light in those spaces, so it's confusing. Yeah. I don't- I think his eyes weren't like that before at all. If I remember correctly. I don't know, this like, was Y2K, everybody. Uh... So how do you all feel? Relief? I guess? <laughs> I am frustrated that they didn't even try to have a satisfying conclusion, they're just like, fuck it. And like, what did the conclusion even mean? Is like up that in the air. You and Alex are the same person, and you should just feel so happy about that. He's in all of us. He's this, like, he's I feel like, like. This he, is like one of my greatest fears: is to like try to put myself out there and like really try to write a story or something, and then I completely like fail on a fundamental level on doing anything with it. <laughs> like, uh, like the fact that he just like he doesn't understand what character growth is. And like, the, and like, it's not just like he told a story badly, but like, it maybe is revealing about the, him as a person, and it's like, it's like distressing. It. It is okay. Like, it is hard. I feel I. It is hard to put yourself out there like that, I and have to stop I. This music. Yeah. No, I understand. Thank you. It's just, I. It can be scary, I think, also to like if you have like this complex thought and you aren't able to to put it in a way that makes sense to yourself or even to other people or even yourself. 
like when you have like this you're trying to like make sense of even just aspects of who you are as a person like that can be scary when you realize that ends ends don't meet the right way and you have yeah. like these all these unresolved conflicts within yourself that you may never really be solved and you may never really understand these things like formulating a thought in a coherent way and finding that you are unable to do that, I think is something that could be very scary because it maybe makes you feel perhaps like you're stupid or maybe that you're like you're you're half baked as an individual. Like maybe you aren't uh, actualized or established. Like maybe you're just flowing in the wind and one day you'll die having done nothing, you know. But I think this game scares me because if I made this game, that would prove that I was right about those fears I have about myself. <laughs> <laughs> I would look, but but the, here's but here's the thing: is hopefully he does. He, n- no one tell him I'm saying this. Mm-hmm. Hopefully he doesn't know how how bad this game is. Oh, I almost kind of wish for him as a person to like not you, know. Like you hope he's in denial. Because I think, I think the if feedback I has made, definitely reached him, so yeah, he ho- can't be ignorant to it. He can just be in denial about it. But if I had made this and I realized it was as bad as it was, it would probably make me question every aspect of myself and my ability to do anything. It's like how like the, the, the as a director of Troll 2 is continually like in denial that he made a bad movie. Maybe that's a defense mechanism. Maybe this guy yeah. should be defensive on Twitter about his game for his own sanity because this would destroy me. If I came back, like if I went to the future and I had made a game and I played it without realizing how I got to this point and it was this game, I would just have to, I would have to figure out a way to nip that in the bud because that's, I'm not going out like that. You know? I, that was such an abrupt ending. No, it was totally... Semi just shows up like, hey, sorry. Like, There's like a two-second conversation with Semi after longing for her for an entire game. And then it's like, I don't know, Alex and Essentia together or, or apart? What's going on? Flip a switch. Credits. What? And then the previous protagonist of the previous game gave us a pep talk? For he, some reason? Was he, he was supposed... So that, <laughs> Why did that happen? That last Alex was supposed to be really bad but we didn't really establish how he's bad except for he has the ripped jeans and messy hair and he's actually kind of punk cool looking but apparently he's the villain and he's bad for reasons i don't understand we just i guess he's the core of all the hate of why he seemed happy and um, nice to me (laughs) he didn't do anything mean to us where were we i don't know the the world's gone we flew so we were in that place with all the, we, the we, island of I Alex's. Guess we flew it like a meteor, didn't we? So like that was like the Alex hate meteor that was destroying realities. Yeah. Medi- so we went inside the jelly meteor that we fought earlier. <laughs> the one no. that was really easy to defeat, except for the part where it was supposed to beat us. <laughs> I thought we we the world ended, so we ended up in outer space, and we just flew to Alex Island. I'm like. I'm kind of amazed that they like didn't even. Well, we flew to Alex Island when our world got destroyed, but then we went. But then only Alex has got the evil Alex is behind the you know, on the dark side of the tracks. <laughs> all got together and made a meteor and flew oh, off yeah, to go forgot. destroy realities again because yeah. there's like four good Alexes and like four bad Alexes or something. And uh, and, and by good I mean lazy nothing Alexes, and also one of them is seems to be Claudio's brother slash son who is also Alex maybe. Well, that was one, that was one of the good Alex's, I guess. Yes, yeah, so like Alex is also Claudio's brother, which is a and lot is of also things. Vela and is also, also, Cla- also Sammy Claudio's son. And Sammy's maybe dead, so Alex, so a part of taken. Alex, is now dead because she's dead. But everyone is everyone uh, anyway. So if anyone dies, then a part of everyone else is dead. I don't know. So as far as I can tell, we flew at the end. We flew into the same meteor that we fought in town. And yeah, like all of our party members that we trained with for months never got to actually do anything despite all that supposed training. And then they all get one shot by the meant to lose mechanic of the meteor. Uh, and then they're all dead and they never come back. They never come back to life. There, you know, you don't like, there is no like happy ending where you small silly like rescue everyone and they're like, Alex, what happened? That last thing I remember, like, no, they're just credits. They're all dead still. <laughs> and maybe all realities are dead still. So like, where do we even go? Like, there's not even one scene. All you have to do is like show Alex wake up somewhere and then cut to credits. 
Just because whatever you, he wakes up at would establish what the fuck the results are of that happening. Yeah, as far it's as left we entirely know. entirely interpretation, but everything is so fucking made up and nonsensical that our interpretations are just us writing a game for them. <laughs> well, maybe that's what he actually wants. So ah! you to go and submit your letters and see if you can make like a coherent game next time with your... No. With less lemonade in it. But Keith, don't you know by the ending he's saying that he's in you now? Uh, hey. that, that was what he was saying. I don't like that at all. He woke up in your heart, and that's where he lives forever. I don't like that at all. <laughs> that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to do some like, like Santa Claus, like the spirit of Christmas is in your heart always, like that. Some weird, weird stuff like that. The you know twinkle in your eye, like he's in there. God, now I want to go back to the beginning of the game and see the description that the game gave. Because we had to answer questions with names. And those are apparently the personalities of all of our party members. They also that's that's you, what we're supposed to think that those were. Did, I, I wonder if any of them will make will match up with what we think of those characters. Didn't they also <clears throat> ask you for a really ugly name? And, and um, we, we made a joke where we're like, oh, we should write Marlene. Marlene. Cause, cause, cause the, I don't, the, no, I don't, I don't the, think we wrote Marlene in the no, game. Well, we didn't, but remember, we, I made a joke saying we should write Marlene because that's the crow's name. Yeah. Well, the, but it um, asked us for an ugly name, I thought. Or maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe she talks about ugly names. I don't fucking remember. What's really fucky... None of that came up, really, anyway. I think we probably just referenced and joked about the Family Guy episode. When we said Keith or something, I don't know. But the, um... God, I'm just thinking about the fact that like we we turned we named Michael John. <laughs> like whatever question they they wrote for Michael, I don't think fit Michael <laughs> as a character. Yeah, because because John and Michael are nothing alike. No. The John that we know in real life is nothing like the fictional Michael that we no. we went on adventures with in this game. Like at least you can reasonably connect Vela and Stephanie. I guess. Even if, even if they ruined Vela by the end as a character. Um, and then, yeah, at a later point in the series, we were just running out of names. So we're like, I don't know this guy. I don't, I don't know what the fuck to put in these people. But yeah, like, the, the fucking, the fact that, like, it is pretty funny that, like, yeah, like, Bird is... <laughs> Chandra for some reason. <laughs> Chandra, and I'm like, I don't have like any personality traits in common. I don't know what the fuck the question was, but it was not effective at doing what it meant to do. Was this, was the was the party of friends supposed to be like? This is the group of friends that everybody has. Like, there's all these types of people that you know, and there's yeah, everyone fits that, into this. They're all gonna archetype. slot in naturally. I hated most of them. Ugh. Well, it's over, Stephanie. I... Have you picked I, the next game yet? <laughs> I will. It'll be better than this. I feel <laughs> like I, I feel like the bar is so low that I, I can't disappoint anyone. <laughs> no. Let's see, I'm what's sorry, the... everyone. I just wanted to know. No, I think this was like... I actually, I had fun with this only because it was so bizarre. <laughs> it's like it was, it was in a way like doing the Death Stranding playthrough. Where it's just... I just have to know. <laughs> what where the fuck where is, this? is this going? She's your sister. <laughs> <laughs> see, but then you you get you get you know. You see, in this game, it's like, where is it going? What's the point? And then I'm like, nothing. <laughs> Goodbye. It's over. <laughs> that was so unsatisfying. No, I and I, not just like in a, and I don't even mean like the wishful female, like oh everyone gets happy and kind of satisfying. I mean like it was just kind of like a nothing ending. I would have preferred a bad ending to, or I mean I was expecting a bad ending because there's no way this game could have have a good ending. But I was expecting like something really cringy, which like, I, like, you like, know. without spoiling it, remember like the final choice you make in Death Stranding where you have to do this final action to like make the game properly end, mm -hmm. like at the shoreline in the place that was weird. It'd be like if they showed that scene and then they just cut to black and rolled credits and nothing else happened after that point. Yeah, there was no you, like, like after you don't finish the story and you don't resolve what it means. And so like like Death Stranding had the issue of being too much ending. Or too much everything. Especially the credit sequence that was just like an extended time waster where they just spend way too long explaining stuff after a bunch of effective scenes. They deflate it all. 
uh, like the ending of Death Stranding and the post credit scene of Death Stranding were both pretty effective, and it's just that the fucking credits part that was so bad. But this one just didn't fucking bother. It just, get, it just like, whatever, it's over. <laughs> and I mean, like, admittedly, like, I, if I had ridden myself into this corner, I don't even know what the fuck I'd be doing at some point. Like, I hate... <clears throat> Just kind of in general, like it's kind of a problem with like a, like anime and stuff. Sometimes I hate like like up your own ass, incredibly abstract, like frustrating endings to like the, like a lot of anime. Uh, have convoluted so is like yeah. that's the that's the that's just like the sticker I like put some, on anime that gets yeah like that. It's just like that at becomes some point you're convoluted. like fighting God or like you're like talking to spirits in a nether plane and this somehow decides the reality of what happens and then without even making it really clear what that means it kind of just ends like i think the only the only weird abstract thing i've ever seen that i thought was good as like a weird ending to a story maybe might have been like harry potter that weird like train station scene at the end where he, where he talks to Dumbledore and stuff, and it's like in a, in a white void. Like yeah. That, like, that was, like, oh, really yeah, effective. Yeah. But a lot of stuff has endings like that that I just hate. <laughs> and this was like that, where I'm just like, I, what does anything mean, and where are we, and what were you even going for with this? I, I don't... I, I love when media pushes you to yeah. to be thoughtful about something, right? Like, that's great. The issue is when there's too many facets of it, or you can tell that they wrote themselves into a corner or it's like half baked like th there's like a million ways to do it wrong there's only one way to do that sort of thing right mm -hmm. at, at least in harry potter like the weird abstract aspects were already like a precedent that had been there like there it's not as if it like came out of completely nowhere because it's already like a, a, a world with magic and things you already have to like stretch yeah. your imagination to like fill the gaps anyway so when it, but it also like that, delivered a really really clear emotional message and very clearly framed the choice that was being made and then showed the choice being made like it was comprehensible and concrete despite the weirdness of the visuals and so on and what and like try and like the part of where you're thinking like but how is he talking to that person and where is this and so on like it doesn't matter because the emotional core of the scene is so clearly there and that's what most storytelling is and if you can follow that thread really clearly at all times and you're like okay here we go I, I'm, I'm on board I'm not even questioning it yeah, if it feels seamless. There's not like a jarring aspect to it. But instead of getting us emotionally invested, they just re-explained transdimensional ghosts fifty times in this game, and the definite and the meaning of it changed every single time. And I'm still not sure how it works. And they did that instead of developing the characters most of the time. So by the end, I'm just like, I, we're, what are we, what are we doing? And then the credits roll. <laughs> There's quite a few things that I've. I've and I think I think anime is a great contester for that, but like where it's just something is convoluted. But wasn't Wolf Rain like that? Where it's just like, what the? F you, you know, fuck? you know what I was thinking of is uh, you ever watch the the original run of Full Metal Alchemist? Yeah, it gets it gets weird with the with the wall that leads to like World War Two or yeah. not World War II, like what like some like the movie helps weird era <laughs> but of before like before there was a movie. It was like what there's a <laughs> gate that leads to like. Was it like World War Two era? No, Britain? it was World War Two. Like it was the Blitz. It was London Blitz. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> and that like, <laughs> like I was like, okay. But you know what? Yeah. I, but here's the thing, right? It's something like that. It's like I still loved the characters. I still loved a lot of the moments. It was yeah. worth it to me, despite this big, like I think, knock against it in my brain. I was like, that's kind of a shame. Yeah. This game had nothing to redeem those knocks. I didn't care about the characters. I didn't care about. I didn't care about anything. I didn't care about any aspect of the God, story. God, the one hundred called this shit too. Was, That's why I was so frustrated. Uh, Evangelion. It was, like, it was all a normal. It is an anime. It was all a classic normal show that existed in reality, and then out of nowhere, it went fucking off the rails at the end, and was like, and did this kind of stuff where it's like reality breaking, weird vision quest nonsense, where stakes are confusing, and why is this where the story is now? And it's like I, I hate it. I hate when you have like a supernatural ending to a series that's not like that. The yeah. Yeah. Still haven't watched Evangelion because 
among other things, I can't even See, nail down which one I'm supposed to watch. That one like makes seven me laugh because the original TV run, like I told you, had the last episode, but they actually ran out of budget, and so they only half animated it. And, and as, in the as robot. And as a kid, I thought it was an artistic choice, and they're trying to be really deep and meaningful because they have all this, this weird, trippy ending. But it's only—it's just because they ran out of money. Like How they actually such, had no like, money. I thought it was intensely popular. Was it not actually popular yet? No, it was popular. You think that they'd have money? No, dude. They're to no, the but show? but they were they were going crazy with their animation budget, so which is why it looks out. so great. It's a great looking anime for the time, especially like their biomech stuff was beautiful. But yeah, no, they were like blowing money like it was not it was not i don't think yeah i think their their producers were like yo oh, stop <laughs> <laughs> but you know what the I'm one just deflating the one peaceful thing i will say about this is i don't when i when i finish like a really hearty thoughtful movie i'll like have to go into my room and, like think about it for like a day you yeah, know what i mean i do not have to think about this at all because i know it makes <laughs> no sense and i'm not gonna waste any time thinking about it no jesus my dreams might be weird though because <laughs> of the slug <laughs> melder just because of all DNA of it strand people oh <laughs> <laughs> uh. God, that fucking Vine Punch mini game! I hated it. I hope that's not the new dodge mechanic in the game. Well, it's not like it matters anyway. Yeah. <sighs> do, 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 I wonder if the do, next. Do, 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 what if that's the, do, if that's the new tragedy? Do, 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 what if the new tragedy is that the next generation of people that plays this game blind hates hates it more? What if it's worse now? <laughs> what if he's only succeeded in making it a worse game? I think he did. And you can't even go back and play the previous game version that was less worse. God, all the icons looked really bad that showed the elements and stuff. Like, it was, like, completely in clashing with the art style of the game. And they were just awkwardly pasted on there. It looked like somebody drew them in, like, Microsoft Paint. Like, I'm doing pixel art, but, like, they're not that good at it. Yeah, and no. It, it, it clashed with everything. And you can't just apply elements to it after the fact because there's nothing to establish that any of these characters have any relation to whatever yeah. element they represent anyway. It's not as if like, uh, yeah. like it's like, oh, well, that that is they a, weren't built to be. That's elements. a squirrel. I can tell it's a fucking water type because it's a turtle. And I feel like even yeah. if you had made that character and then later applied the water type, I'd be like, yeah, that seems like it makes sense. Even if Pokemon wasn't gonna have types at all. It's but, like, oh, well, water type that makes sense. I don't look at Chandra and think, oh, Chandra. Chandra is a... I don't even know what she I was. I don't remember what she was. No. But also, like... Is Bella is a water type. She's like, she, well, she's wearing all like red. The, the so. attacks had, like, a coherent art style before, and, like, as annoying and, and tiring it eventually would get, like, it looked really cool when you first saw Alex's, like, record attack, and the spin thing comes up. You're like, oh, yeah, look at this shit. This is weird. This is crazy. And it looked good. The replacement one was, like, awful. <laughs> It's like cool. It's a one button press and it goes away faster. But it's like, uh, <laughs> like the the little the little weird like square that pops up in the middle of the screen and just is like a it's just like a low res pixel art record and you just press A at the right time and that's the whole game now and it's like mm, this is heartless this is and worse. cold. Yeah. yeah, it didn't even have the flare. Oh, I don't know. Let's all move on with our lives. I think it's for the best. I think the person who made this game should move on with their life. Yeah. Yeah. Buddy, just stop. Yeah. I look forward to his next metatextual game where he dissects what went wrong with this game. <laughs> And then, and then still oh, and he, and he really puts Alex in the next game as like, uh, like, like how he did with his last game, where it's like, it's okay, buddy. People really prevented my last game from being good. That'll but be it's the thing, okay. right? Like, we got to play his next game when it comes out to figure out if he ever grew as a person or if he's just worse. What if he just? What if he does get better? Or if he just pulls his pulls his fucking bulwark up and he just phalanxes it and just like, no, it's not me that's wrong. The children are wrong. <laughs> Dude, I believe in you. You can do it. You can do it. You can grow as a person, not like your characters do, because they don't know how to do it. But maybe it'll happen to you on accident, and then you'll realize one day what it's like. And then you can make a game about that. That'd be really cool. Maybe you growing as a person is realizing that your last game wasn't very good. I just can't get over how the gameplay was never fun, and the story was never engaging. No. The story was them just wandering around. 
mostly. Yeah. You know, getting split up again and then getting getting the gang back together over and over again for some reason. Once they had a gang. Yeah. And then suddenly the world ends. And, and then they all die. And there was a llama like, and a leg. And there was a balloon vela. And yes. We went to a mountain where a guy went on a weird speech about like tea or whatever. Yeah. For no reason. That was a mandatory plot point. Yes. That was not a side quest. I'll with remind the, everyone. With the record we never looked at. <laughs> A whole story arc that only happened because Sir Alex didn't look at the cover of the album to save to save a girl who we don't we still don't know what her deal was Which or like, why she was. How in... could he have not looked at the cover of the album to see that it's by Vela, when among other things, it just had all of them on it. They were all on the cover. You have to <laughs> be blindfolded, just not glance down at it a single I, time. I have to stop. I can't think about this game anymore. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for joining us.